governance effectively, the authorities of which you can look at council development area in accordance with the federal constitution and legal state law organized a swearing-in ceremony for the newly elected councillors. Speaking of the exercise, the council chairman, who was also sworn in on the 26th of July by Governor Babajini Sawolu for his second term, appreciated everyone who played critical roles in ensuring credible and violence-free elections. He enjoined the newly elected councillors to cooperate with the executive so the Ojokoro populace can witness unparalleled developments for another four years. We are here today to witness the official swearing of our seven newly elected councillors and pro proclamation of the Legislative Council in order to, com to complete the democratic structure for the new administration. New councillors to join hands together and create a cordial and a deeply working relationship with the executive in order to bring more development to Dukuru SCB. I humbly wish to assure our people that with your continual prayer and support, both the executive and legislative terms of this new administration will never betray the confidence you have, you have in our ability to perform better than before. The councillors were sworn in, taking their oaths of office and secrecy. Congratulations. Do so well this way. Be faithful and appear to your allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the United States, and the Republic of the United States of the States. That as a member of the Legislative Council, of the Republic of the United States, I will perform my functions honestly and to the best of my ability, faithfully and in accordance with the position of the Republic of Nigeria. The same government law, in that regard, and the rules of the Legislative Council of the Republic of the United the councillors assured residents of quality representation in their respective words. We are expecting some projects to be done for our community. That's what I'm expecting. And we have a cooperation to the chairman and the executive to, to give us a dividends of democracy. Ahmed Tijani, in an interview, said his primary goal is to make Ojuku Real CDA the best example of effective governance in Lagos State. The councillors, the uh, partners in progress in the, the affairs of the local government, and uh, no one can be able to do it alone. That is the executive. It is collaboration work. And I want to believe, I want to uh, employ them that we should have a good synergy in order to make the local government to move forward. And we can only do this when we have a cooperation, good synergy. And with that one, we'll be able to make the local, uh, local council development area to become uh, a model in which other local government can emulate. This new era is expected to assure more greatness to a Jokorel CDA. Mm -hmm.